Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been using the Divi Supreme modules to add sort of pop-ups to our site. In the last video we created this Google Map pop-up on button click there. Today we're going to do a Facebook live feed pop-up on button click right here. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is make sure you've got Divi Supreme Modules Pro installed. And I'm going to go down to the dashboard and click on it. And to make these pop-ups work, you really need to enable Divi pop-up right here. So we're on Divi Supreme Pro, Pro General Settings tab, enable Divi pop-up. So once that's all done, let's go to our page and what I'm going to do I'm just gonna there's a little bit of CSS we're going to use today to make our feed a little bit deeper what I'll do is I'll comment this out and don't worry about writing this I'll put this code below the video and you're welcome to use it if you want to okay so let's just comment out that bit of script right there and we're ready to go let's enable our visual builder so we can build on the front end once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I guess I'll do it right here. There's the one I just created earlier. Um, let's put one over here. I don't think they'll conflict with each other. So I'm going to add a new module. I'm simply going to use a button again for this. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules you see here. Divi Supreme Pro adds all these sort of purpley blue ones and gives you an extra 40 or so and they're a great addition to the Divi theme so let's go and check out my button there we go and what do I want it to say Facebook I guess link wise I'm just gonna put a hashtag in there because it's gonna open our light box anyway or our pop-up we'll go to our design and we'll quickly style the button gonna go design down to button I'm going to use custom styles text size is fine I'm going to make it white it'll disappear button background will make it sort of Facebook blue there we go and when it hovers if we hover over button background up here we've got a little arrow let's change it to a lighter blue when it hovers so I'm going to click the little three dots for the little palette and let's use that lighter color blue right there for the hover color going on down I don't want a border on there so I'm going to take the border away if you do you have to color the border the same as you want your button border radius is fine it's slightly curved that's absolutely fine I do want a button icon this time usually I leave it out but let's find a Facebook feed or a Facebook a little icon there's one right there I want it to show it all the time seeing it's thing is it's there so we can uncheck show icon only on hover and there it is looks a bit strange when we're in the developer view but once we save everything looks great you can put it on the right or the left if you prefer don't know I'll leave it right there a little bit of text shadow make that Facebook legend stand out a bit and a bit of box shadow for the button make him jump out of the page a little bit and we're good to go now let's go over to our advanced and if we go down to visibility because previously we checked this little button to allow pop-ups we've now got a little button on most of our modules here if not all of them that says use pop-up I'm gonna say yes now we haven't decided what sort of pop-up type is at the moment I'm gonna take you over to Facebook developers page and I'll put this link below the video also and we'll use an iframe so here we go it's developers.facebook.com let's go to the front of the page and you need to put the Facebook page URL here so I've got my own little URL width I've made 500 which is the maximum you can use for this and height I put 800 you can change that to whatever you want really I suggest doing it as wide as possible 
because on computer screens it will look a little small otherwise. You can uncheck these things so you can have the full header. You can show friends faces if you want to. I really don't. Um, I'm going to use small header, hide cover photo. I'm just going to have my feed going on there. Okay, so when you're happy, hit the little get code button down underneath. And you can either write it into a code module like this. We've done this previously with regular Divi modules. Or you can use an iframe. I'm going to click on the iframe. But we only need the URL. We don't need uh, the iframe tags themselves. That will stop it from actually working. So let's grab the HTTPS from just after the inverted comma there. And go down to right after the end of the ID number. And you don't need the closing inverted comma there either. So it's from the HTTPS to the end of your ID number there, excluding the inverted commas. Control C to copy. Now if we go back to our page, I want to use an iframe. Here is the iframe URL if we put in there. If you put your if you copy the script tags as well, this will not work. Okay, and we want it to trigger on module click or a button click or an image click or a hyperlink or a page load or scroll. We just want it to do it on button click or module click because seeing the the module itself is a button it doesn't make any difference in this particular case so I'm going to go button click that's fine don't want it to auto close if you want it to auto close check that and you can give it a timer value they got all kind of crazy fade in and fade out animations to use there's a lot there have a look at them there's some crazy effects pop up position center fine absolute so it'll be there wherever they start scrolling don't want to use it full width because the max width we can have for this actual thing is 500. So I'm going to pop this down to 500 as well. In fact, it might be easier just to type 500 in there. Otherwise, you'll just have a black box around the, the bit that don't display. We'll use the overlay, which gives it that uh, light box effect with a background color. You can change your colors here. We've got a close button, and by default, it's on the inside, which is fine for me. Uh, the font size is there and it chooses the X for you which is standard for a close button but of course you can choose any one of these elegant themes icons here so I think we're pretty in pretty good shape right here so let's save this let's save our page changes little purple button to the green button to save and let's exit the visual builder Okay, let's go down to our little button and see what's going to happen here. There we go. Well, there's our live Facebook feed, but for me, it needs to be deeper. They want to be able to see more of it than that. And that's not a feature that's built into it. Like I say, we have to write a little bit of code for this. So I'm using Chrome here with the inspector. I'm going to right click on it and find the sort of parent div and here it is it's ETPB button 2 looks like let's add a height to it we can take this down a little bit so we can see a little bit more and let's say minimum height of say 700 picks or 800 picks whatever you want so min dash height let's say 800 picks for argument's sake and as you can see that's made that a lot deeper now which is more like it now like I say I will put this code below but you may need to check out your particular one because it might have a different button ID so I'm going to copy that and it's going to be ETPB button whatever yours is called there now we need to go to our theme customizer to get to the customizer. Go down to Divi and theme customize. That'll bring us to the customizer and at the bottom you'll find the additional CSS box right here. 
and I'll leave that first one there. And I'm simply going to paste in the code that I just copied from my browser. Don't need the max width because I didn't write that. Just need the max minimum height, which is 800 pixels. When you're happy, just save your content, publish. Now let's go back to our page. And that's a better looking one. Let's make sure it's going to work. We'll refresh the page. So there we are. There's a great little Facebook Live pop up for you. Great little feature to have on your site. And don't forget, get it open, inspect it. You'll need a different ID than the one that I've used because you know you've built yours and it may have a different ID. So go up. Um, until you get the highlighted area of the area you're selecting it's going to be called ETPB button something probably not two yours might be a different one but that's the ID you want to target and there's that bit of code we put in there great so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech thanks for watching have a great day